Al Michaels back at Belmont Park for our mobile update. They have a race each June in England. It is their equivalent of the Kentucky Derby. It's the Epsom Derby. And here was the stretch run just a few hours ago. The race was won by a horse by the name of Oath, who is owned by Prince Ahmed bin Salman of the Thoroughbred Corporation, the owners of Patience Game, a horse in today's field. Also of interest, Gary Stevens, who would have ridden Silver Bullet Day had he been here, has opted to ride in England for at least a few weeks. He finished third in that race on beat all oath was the winner and we go to leslie al everyone says that alan jerkins is the giant killer but this man would certainly qualify elliot walden you said menifee might be closer to charismatic than victory gallop was to real quiet why is that well he's a different kind of animal leslie uh he has more tactical speed and uh we might use it today it's in pat's hands and uh it's gonna be a great race well, thank you best of luck to you and al do you know that only one trainer has spoiled two triple crowns his name elliot birch al mm-hmm so if you believe in omens, Hank and Dave join me right now. Let's uh, take a closer look as we get closer to, the, to post time. And Hank, first of all, charismatic. We watched him walk over. There he is. How does he look to you? Well, before the Classic started, Wayne Lucas said the mile and a half is his distance. You know, in 1946, a horse called Assault was going for a triple crown. One of the Preakness and all the riders said, what a bum. <laughs> Lucas likes to refer to them as cockroaches. We seem to have another group of cockroaches. And there he is, a silver bullet day is just now arriving. I mean, she is not only going to race a mile and a half, Dave, she's had about a two-mile trek from Harsh Stable to the paddock. <laughs> she might be slow from barn 50, but she's fast on the track. She's the fastest animal in this race, but it's not a time trial. The big question is how will she respond when tested in battle against the Colts, and can she get the mile and a half distance? Normally it's ladies first, but it's ladies last as she reaches the paddock right now. Here is best of luck trained by the Hall of Famer Alan Jerkins, and he's getting uh, some backing at 12 to 1. He knew he had something special with this horse. He nominated best of luck to the Triple Crown in January before he ever won a race. After he was second in the Wood Memorial, he said he's not going to the Derby of the Preakness, but to the Peter Pan right here. His bloodlines show that he can win. He's by eight being now there's patience game. Hank, this is a horse who had a very rough trip at Baltimore. Had terrible traffic problems, was boxed inside, had to take up at the eighth pole, finished a strong fifth, came out of the race fine, and has worked very well since he got here to Belmont. Patience game right now is at odds of 13 to 1. Steven got even. We saw him in Kentucky. We saw him in Maryland. We see him here. What do you think of this horse, Dave? He had a nightmare trip in the Derby after being brilliant in the gallaryfurniture.com. Wide in the Preakness. This horse could do it, and Nick Zito has never won. There he is. And uh, that horse, Steven got even, is by APND, not best of luck. Zito 0 for 8 in the Belmont with four seconds. Henry, you already picked charismatic and not often. Yeah, right? I think Menifee will be there. Patience game, my long shot, maybe to conclude a trifecta or a silver bowl day or, or uh, Stephen got even one of those three for the try. Dave? I'd love to see charismatic win it, but I can't pick him at the three to two. I'll take the Philly at five to one. How about you? I agree with you. I would like to see charismatic win it, but I think it's ladies day too. I think silver bullet day gets the lead and never gives it up. Charlesy, what do you think? Well, I think Charismatic can pull this off. He'll have the usual suspects of Menifee and Stephen got even breathing down his neck. But the horse, I think, who stands the largest in his way is a newcomer called Best of Luck. He's trained by Alan Jerkins, who's killed a few giants in his day. And he's aimed this cult specifically for this race. He certainly wants the distance. Of course, they're all going to have to chase the Philly Silver Bullet Day. If she gets an easy lead, they'll have a hard time catching her. But she's going to have to get a little earlier than she was to the paddock. The rest of these colts were saddled and walking around here carrying their full weight before she ever arrived. Bob Baffert might be looking at a little fine from the stewards. Leslie, what do you think? Well, Charles, so you're right. They cannot let her go in 50 or 51, or she could just steal the race. But I think the stage is set. A formerly fat jockey and a formerly fat horse are going to team up to prove that in this country, a claimer can be king. My pick, charismatic. Jim? Put it very simply. I want to wake up in the sea that doesn't sleep. I'm melting away I'll make a brand new start of it In old New York If I can make it there I'll make it anywhere Come on, come through New
And before this record crowd, here's the field, the post parade, teletable, owned by Robert Perez, a guy who loves to enter long shots in classic races. This horse, a rank Mark outsider. Lee. Number two Mark is Vision Lee. in Verse, trained by the Hall of Famer Bill Mott, won the Illinois Derby on the 8th of May. Number three is the Philly Silver Bullet Day, the Hall of Fame jockey Jerry Bailey, who rode this horse once before to a win at the Ashland Stakes at Keeneland, won the Black Eyed Susan last out. Charismatic, 31 to 1 in the Derby, 8 to 1 in the Preakness. Will he win the Triple Crown today? He's 3 to 2. Number five is Pineff. Pineff, his last win came in the Tampa Bay Derby where he beat Menifee in March. Number six is Lemon Drop Kid. Scotty Schulhofer is the trainer, won this race in 93 with Colonial Affair. Number seven is Patience Game. Kent DeSormo is a very rough trip in the Preakness. Only his sixth start ever, lightly raced. Number eight is Adonis, one of the two Nick Zito horses. Adonis with three wins in eight outings, apart from that, off the board in every other race. Number nine is the rank outsider, prime directive, but he does get the services of Mike Smith in the saddle. Smith is a guy who has won five Belmont riding titles. This is a Florida bred. Number 10, pack day up on Menifee, trained by Elliot Walden. Seven starts in his career. Four wins, three seconds. He's won almost a million bucks. 11 is Stephen Got Even, the second of the Zito horses. He was 14th in the Kentucky Derby. He was fourth in the Preakness. Shane Sellers aboard. And best of luck with Alan Jerkins, the giant killer, a guy who has trained horses who've beaten the likes of Secretariat. Jean Luc Semin is the rider. He's been up in every one of that horse's 12 races. Wayne Lucas has won a dozen Triple Crown races, but he's never won the Triple Crown. Will it happen? Post time, seven minutes away.